So a few years ago, I was working for a SolidWorks reseller and my boss gave us an assignment. He said, we need to start visiting customers and I'd like you to visit about one a week. And I was teaching classes for SolidWorks pretty much every week. And I thought, okay, one a week, that's reasonable. But I was reading this book by Tim Ferriss. I think it was the four hour work week. And one challenge he had was doing the exact opposite for 48 hours. And so I asked myself, what if I could do a visit a customer every day? And then I thought, well, why not? What if I could do 10 in a day? So I started this experiment. I mapped out different customer locations. I figured out where people were grouped together. And then I walked into my boss's office two weeks later with 50 visits instead of two. And then it was a different problem, a good problem. He had offered a bonus for every visit. And so my bonus was a lot bigger. This kind of blew him away. So for you creatives out there, if you're working in Fusion 360, you're doing 3D printing, you're doing CNC, you've got projects, you've got design challenges that you want to finish. Sometimes doing the opposite is exactly what you need to get unstuck. So let's apply it to your challenges today. Take that current project that you're working on and just force yourself to finish something in one hour or make just a terrible, no good prototype, but get it out, get it printed today. Or what if you tried a different approach that you've never used before? You always work in sketching and solids. Try surfacing today. Try sculpting. If you are always doing things solo, reach out to a peer, find someone to get some feedback immediately. You're a bit of a perfectionist, set a timer and commit to finishing something in that timer. So in the comments below, let us know what you're working on and maybe a different approach that you want to take. Let us know how it goes. Shoot me an email. I'll put it down in the comments. Let me know your progress. Excited to hear from you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.